Yeah, yeah Karen, hi. Hi. Um, I'm interested in, as somebody who's been doing this work for a long time in different sort of ways, um, just how you see the paradigm shifts in your own work and, you know, going from the different ways that you've been a, <coughs> trying to make change, what have you found, like writing novels or being an arts administrator or whatever, what do you find now is the way that you think is most um, effective for you? I, I, I was just, Adam, Adam saw this when he was in, in, uh, in the Bay Area uh, last summer, this, this video of uh, The Gathering, which was this big progressive theater festival in 1981, in which I was young in 1981. And uh, I, the person's you know, sticking a microphone in my face and interviewing me. And I saw it again, because I, another friend wanted to see it recently, and I realized Oh my God! I sound exactly the same now as I did then. I mean, I'm, I'm doing stuff a little bit different, but it's it's sort of like it's very straight line in in many ways. Um, and I think the straight line is around the, you know things that are hardwired into my personality: the need to speak truth to power, the need to call out injustice wherever I see it, um, the need for beauty, and the need to bring those two things together. Um, and we each have our own wiring, right? Whatever it is. But because I have the opportunity to speak to, to young artists and activists a lot, and people ask me that question from their perspective. What should I do? You know, what's most effective? What's going to be great? And I, I can only have one answer. And the answer is, you do what gives you the most pleasure. It makes you feel the most alive. Because that will be what's sustainable for you. And, and because you'll be living in a prefigurative way. You'll be living as an integral, integral person whose body, mind, spirit, and emotions are all aligned in the same way. You will inspire other people because just the experience of encountering a person whose life is organized around that kind of integration is intrinsically en enlarging, especially to a young pe person. So I have to say all I did at every point was what I wanted to do. So what is it at this point? I, I, it's what I'm doing. I want to write and speak. Those are my two, those are my two favorites. Yeah. But you know, I have, uh, and I also have other, other things that I do that are valuable to me that are aligned to that, that are working with certain organizations. I'm working with the Center for Digital Storytelling, um, for example, and for women arts, which is, used to be the Fund for Women Artists. But really, the only decision I think I ever made, and the only decision that I I mean, you have to be willing to give stuff up, right, if it, to do that. You don't get job security with that. But you, but you get something else. You get a life that, without regrets, which I think is fairly important. <laughs>